Alright, what's going on guys? It's Trey back again here bringing another mixed martial arts related video. So this time I'm going to be doing a video talking about uh, uh, the match in February in Japan. Looks like it's going to be February 26th. It's been announced that uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson is going to be facing Ryan Bader for um, the first time the UFC has been back to Japan in a long time. Have they ever been to Japan? Actually, I'm not sure about that. I'd have to look that up. Um, I don't remember the UFC going to Japan at all. Um, maybe ever. Um, they've probably been there once or twice before, but I just don't remember. So, of course, since the UFC is going back to Japan, you know, it's got that kind of that pride feel. Quentin Rampage Jackson's looking for a fight, and he heard, you know, he heard that they're going to be going to Japan, and he's like, I got to be on that card. So he's been kind of, uh, you know, um, you know, talking to the UFC, you know, wanting to get that match in Japan so that he can face Bader. Uh, well, not necessarily Bader, just anybody, really. But he wants to fight in Japan. Uh, and I think for the UFC, it makes sense to put uh, Rampage in Japan. I mean, you know, he, his career was built uh, by Pride Fighting Championships in Japan. So he's huge in Japan. He's probably bigger in Japan than he is in North America. Um, serious about that? He probably is. More famous, I mean. And, um, you know, at this point, Rampage is, you know, he's 32-9. and nine, So 32 wins, 9 losses. Fantastic record. Uh, amazing record. You know, is a veteran of the sport. Um, has crossed into acting. I mean, he's done he's done all kinds of stuff. So to see that he's still motivated to want to you know go after fights and you know and be asking to fight in Japan, you know, is uh, is very cool to see. Um, I've always been a huge fan of Rampage ever since he started back in you know the early days in Pride when he was facing you know um, Vanderlei and in the in the middleweight uh, Grand Prix tournaments and knocking out Chuck Liddell and that upset that was one of the biggest upsets ever when he beat uh, Chuck in Pride and uh, you know all the way through he's been one of the best mixed martial artists uh, so far that we've had if I had to make a list of the top 50 mixed martial artists we've had so far definitely Quentin would be in there he'd probably be in the uh, the teens or the 20s maybe um, but yeah, he's definitely one of the best ever. There's no question about it. Um, Ryan Bader, you know, you've got a guy up and coming. He is, um, he's doing pretty good. He he had that little speed bump there with Tito Ortiz where he got uh, he got choked out. He got guillotined after getting knocked down by, uh, you know, a quick punch by Tito inside and just, you know, kind of surprised him. Was it a lucky shot? No. Um, Tito just beat him flat out. There's There's no question about it. I mean... Tito Ortiz was supposed to lose that fight. Everybody thought he was going to lose that fight. The odds were ridiculous, and he came in and he beat Bader um, and handily and quickly. So, you know, um, Bader did rebound from that. He just beat uh, Jason Brills, who is a you know fairly good opponent. I would put Jason Brills not in the top ten in the light heavyweight division. I put him maybe around fifteen to twenty ranking. Bader, I'm not sure if he's a top 10 light heavyweight at this point. If he is a top 10 light heavyweight, he's probably around 8 or 9. Whereas Quentin Rampage Jackson, I think you have to put him as uh, you know top 3, top 4. Maybe 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 3rd or 4th. Okay, you've got to have John Jones, number 1, of course. Number 2, you've got to have Rashad Evans. There's no question about that. Number 3, you either put Quentin or you put Dan Henderson. Maybe Machida. So, you know, Quentin's either... You know, he's top 5 for sure. He's either 3, 4th, or 5th ranking. Um, by anybody who you know knows anything about mixed martial arts, um, you know if any any websites say different, I just say well you're stupid. That's all there is to it. So you know there's no question about it. Um, this fight should be Quentin's fight. Okay, um, Ryan Bader is not really at the top of the heap. He proved that against Tito Ortiz. The only way Ryan Bader wins this matchup and beats Rampage is if. Basically, Rampage is injured. I don't think that there's anything that Bader can do against Quinton that, you know, he's just a bad, really, really bad matchup for Bader, man. Bader really does not have anything to offer Quinton. There's no question about it. I mean, think about it. Ryan Bader's striking is probably his biggest weakness. Maybe that or his jiu-jitsu. I don't know how his jiu-jitsu is. We haven't really seen that at all. Um, and, you know, he pretty much uses his wrestling to take guys down just like, you know, Jones or a lot of the other guys. Um, Quentin Rampage Jackson is one of the hardest guys to take down in all of MMA. He is extremely hard for guys to take down. John Jones had a tough-ass time taking him down. Couldn't take him down in the first. Uh, you know, stood up with him for a while and then eventually was able to take him down. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't quick. He had to work for those takedowns against Quentin. Rashad was, you know, got into, uh, you know, some kind of, I don't know if you want to call it, like a sumo contest against Quentin. All he would do is push him up against the cage, hold him there, try to take him down, and just sit on him, basically. Uh, you know, Rashad didn't want to strike with him. He's like, I'm going to wrestle you and, you know, push you up against the cage and just wrestle you the whole fight. 
and it's going to be a boring ass fight and everyone's going to hate it and people are going to boo but I'll win because I'll just I'll just wrestle you I won't strike with you now that being said you know if Quint, Quentin is kind of getting on in the years now he's 32 and 9 so he's had over 40 uh, professional mixed martial arts fights and if he comes into this fight injured, Ryan Bader could win. If he comes into this fight unmotivated, which is another thing with Quentin, you know, he always talks about his motivation sometimes, it's wavering. You know, sometimes he's motivated, sometimes he's not. Should he be in Japan? He damn well should be. Um, but will he be? You never know, because he did just lose to John Jones, and that could affect him mentally, because now he, you know, he, he can't get his belt back, unfortunately, unless he's going to be able to beat Jones, which it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Although he did give John Jones a better run for his money than anybody else. Nobody else gave John Jones a run for his money like that uh, since maybe like Stefan Bonner. And that was, <laughs> you know, that was a one-sided, pretty bad beating. But um, that was when John Jones was younger and just getting started. Since then, he's been tearing through everybody. So Rampage is, you know, he's, he's shown that he's, he's still fighting well. He's still doing his thing. His boxing is still superb. His knockout power is excellent, and I don't see any reason that Quentin Rampage Jackson shouldn't knock the shit out of Ryan Bader in this fight. If he doesn't, like I said, he's unmotivated or he's injured. I'm sorry, Bader, but you know, you just you just don't have it, man. You just you just don't have it to hang with these top guys, and I really don't think that you know you know Rampage is is going to be a good matchup for you. I think that I think that he's gonna he's gonna take this very easily. So let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think like I do, Rampage should take this easily, no question about it? Or do you think Bader might be able to take him down and maybe, uh, you know, get a decision or pound him out or something? I just, I personally don't see it happening unless there's something wrong with Rampage. That's all there is to it. So Trev says that uh, Rampage should take this fight easily. In Japan, should be a good one. Hopefully we get some more good fights on this card. I'm looking at the card and I was like, I don't know who any of these guys are. You know? <laughs> And I've been watching mixed martial arts forever since since uh, UFC one. I've been watching this stuff, and I don't know any of these guys, or hardly any of them. So you know, hopefully they get. I'd like to see Vanderlei hop on this Japan card. I'd like to see them call up Krokop and be like, "Hey, Krokop, do you want to fight like uh, you know somebody like I don't know one of the you know lower tier heavyweight guys? You know, bring him in, have him fight somebody there, have him fight Nogueira or something. I don't know somebody. You know, <laughs> um, that would be that would be really cool to see in Japan as well. To see Mirko fight or you know or Vanderlei. Or, you know who 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 else? I mean, you know, throw some other guys in the card. Rampage by himself shouldn't be, you know, taking this whole card. So that's it for now, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.